Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Today you find me at home and I thought I'd do a little collection video for you. And as you can tell from the thumbnail, this is all my folders. Right, next up is one you've definitely seen before. And this is a Victorinox Hunter. Pretty self-explanatory, lit a few fires with it. Great knives, can't fault them. I think they're excellent. I got a survival cord lanyard on you. I've got uh, a fire ant and um, the tin helix tinder in there. So yes, I can light the fire with it, which is in another video. Another Swiss Army knife. Right, and this one was sent to me by a friend of mine, Pete Next. And he sent it with the intention I was going to basically modify it, which I did. I bought some orange scales off Etsy. I put a fire ant and helix tinder on it. I gave it a sharpen. And, well, that's basically it. Bit of survival cord there as well. Because I, I quite like having a little bit of cord hanging out of my pocket. So I carried that as an EDC for a while as well. Great little knives. It's... I can't remember the model. I think it's the Huntsman. I think it is. Yeah, it's the one with the saw and the scissors. Oh, and another Victorinox in a sheath, which I made, which I was quite proud of that one because it worked out nice. Now I'm pretty sure this is the Trailmaster. Parts are rated blade. And the reason I bought this, I was going on a trip, canoe trip to Sweden I always make a lot of bread when I go on a canoe trip. I saw this with a parts of it did blade and I thought that would be an excellent bread cutter. <laughs> and it is. So yes, all the regular features I saw. And I have put a firefly in there as well. And the obligatory survivor card lanyard. Leatherman. Sheath I made many years ago. There's been many, uh, the, there's been a wave and a few charges lived in here. And this one is a charge with the G10 scales. Now I have hardly used this because on a daily basis I use a charge titanium. But lockdown was on and Rob was sitting here bored. And I bought it and I've hardly used it. Having a little bit of OCD, I've also got an orange or light torch and an orange like my fire ferro rod. Thank you, Phil, for the torch. You know who you are. Yes, I love these, especially the titanium one. When I lost my job many years ago, my first purchase as a self-employed person was a Leatherman Charge TTI and I think that's 17 years ago and I've had quite a few of them over the years basically every now and again they do break send it back they give you a new one so I think I'm on my fourth Charge TTI but I can't fault them I think they're great they open easy all the tools are right and I just love them Right, now the Swiss Army knife in here. I'm not sure what model this is. The only extra on it is the saw. I think it might be... I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. But the only extra is a saw. Pretty boring knife, really. What else have we got? Another Leatherman. And this is a Leatherman Surge. 
and I've never used it. I bought this second hand, never used a few months ago because it was there. Don't really like black, but it was such a good price, I couldn't let it go. And I was going to do a video, and I may still do it on this as a survival tool. I know a lot of guys on a loan have used these, and one of you who in my opinion, is the best person who's ever been on a loan. She had one of these both times out there, and I know she heavily modified it. She has a video on it. If you've Buckskin Revolutions channel, yes. A bit of a beast. Well, you're not going to lose it because it weighs a ton. Yes, something for the future. You still with me? There's a few more. Another Leatherman. A Leatherman Signal. I traded this last year for the, um, the four. The one I done a review on and it broke. Well, I didn't like that. And I'd be meaning to buy one of them. And is it the PS4 it was? Well, anyway, I traded it and I am going to do a review on this at some time, and I quite like this. What else have we got? Right, uh, another Swiss Army knife. And this is a Gak German Army knife. I've been after one of these for quite a while. And at one point they were throwing them at you, they were cheap. And you could get them everywhere. But then they sort of dried up. But a friend of mine and a customer, Martin, Martin sorted this out for me. And these are great. They got a good saw on them. With uh, a bottle opener and a screwdriver, which I've never used. I've used the saw though. I think I've got a video light in the fire with this knife as well. Good sized blade. And all. These awls are great. A longer corkscrew than normal, and that's got a fire ant with some helix tinder in it. And it's living at the moment in a Neil's Green Craft EDC pouch. Victorinox Walker, yes, did a video on this. I EDC this for quite a while as well. This is the one I was carrying for oh it must be at least a year before I had the Monandi. Yes, and a little thing. Survival card again and I think I've got yeah I got a firefly in there. An excellent knife. There's only a few left. Another Swiss Army knife. The farmer. Brilliant knife. Done a video lighting the fire with this too. Obviously it hasn't got anything fire lighting equipment on it, but these are great. You can't fault the farmer. They feed you. Another Swiss Army knife. Um, this one was sent to me. It had been modified. Just really sent as a gift. And this is the one where I tried out the chisel grind, so I ground the blade down and I put a bevel on just the one side as a feather sticker and it really works well, it, it really does. So I thank Mark Hill the knife maker for that suggestion and I'm very sorry I can't remember who sent it to me but thank you very much because I had a knife then to try that out on. Oh, another sentiment. You can see I've got a bit of sentimental value at the bottom of the box. My dad's wave. About 20 years ago, my pal Russ, who, somebody who's been on the internet for a very, very long time, found, I think it was on eBay, Leatherman Waves going cheap. Now, they did, I had one, I bought one for my father, and I believe Russ bought one as well. 
So this is the old style wave before they did the multi-change screwdriver thingy. So it's just got small screwdrivers instead of the multi-change thing. And my dad carried this on his belt and used it every day until he went ill. So that has a lot because it, it is more or less the best gift I ever bought him because he loved it and he used it all the time. Super sentimental value with that one. The last one. A Victorian Ox Swiss Champ in a case. A little bit of history. I must have been 15 and I really, really wanted one of these. And my dad took me on a job. I won't bore you with the details, but my dad was a joiner and he was doing some big wardrobes and he needed a hand. And he took me and he paid me for my time. And that's what I bought with the money. Yeah, I used this for years and years until modern stuff came out, Leathermans, and then I stopped using it. It's got a few marks, got a few dents on it, and unfortunately they're a bit bulky to carry on the belt. I bought the case afterwards because I couldn't afford to buy the knife and the case, and there used to be a shop in the city of Cardiff, and it's still there, called Bailey's Army Surplus, and 30 odd years ago they were a really good shop and they used to sell all kinds of survival gear. They don't anymore. It's more workwear now. And I bought this case there a few months later. I've even got my parents' old address in your if found reward given. <laughs> yeah. And it's got all the little bits and bobs but I put a microscopic fishing kit that wouldn't catch anything in there. And a little pack of matches, a repairing pencil and a sharpening stone. Yeah, at the time when I was 15 I thought I was the dog's kahunis with that. And that I used to use this, an MOD survival knife, and a cheap copy of the Buck Hunter. Those were the three knives I used to use when I was going camping, when I started off doing all this nonsense. And that's everything. That's all my folders, except for my work, Leatherman, which is in the car, I think. Everything done. Right. Thanks for watching. And I really hope I can get to the woods again soon. Yeah. Ta-da.